my name's Alex. I am from the Wellbeing and Resilience team and I am a mental health and wellbeing advisor. Um, I just thought I'd make a little video about um, how to manage stress because April is Stress Awareness Month and it seemed relevant at the moment that um, this is quite a stressful time for everybody. So I'm going to go through my list and um, hopefully give you some tips about how to uh, manage your stress on a day-to-day -day basis. So number one is be active, uh, speaks for itself, it, you know, being active, going out walking, um, you know, getting your heart pumping, um, helps you clear emotion and intensity. So it helps you clear your mind and will be able to help you think more rationally about situations that you're becoming stressed about. Um, number two is take control. So other than, you know, we can't worry about the things that we can't control. We can't control COVID-19. We can only do what the government is telling us to do. So try and think to yourself, I can't control that. But what things can you control? What can you do in your life that you can control? Like healthy eating, like being active, like getting creative. What can you control? Um, sorry, I'm just reading my notes. Um, and actually, talking about control, when you feel like you've lost control, it is one of, the, according to the NHS, it's one of the biggest contributors to feelings of ill, well-being and stress. So really think to yourself, I can't control COVID-19, but what can I control? Um, connect with people. We are so lucky to live in this um, in this kind of day and age where we can, um, you know, use TikTok and use Zoom and use... Um, house party and whatsapp so stay connected with your friends stay connected with your family you're not isolated because we have this connection we are able to use the internet to connect to people um so make sure you're doing that um make time for yourself so make time for things that you um enjoy doing don't just sit on the sofa and become passive you know get creative get doing things um arts crafts um music Things that you enjoy, obviously within reason inside the house, but um, take this time to do some of the things that maybe you weren't able to do before because you were at college or and at work and, and that kind of thing. Um, and also try and create something that's a stress-free environment for you. So me personally, anytime I, I'm sort of feeling stressed, I'll, I'll run myself a bath, I'll you know, turn the lights out, light some candles, and that is my kind of stress-free area. And now my brain associates getting into the bath with um, calm, um, so that was, is something that I would advise you to do, um, make yourself a calm place, um, where you can meditate or you can just chill. Um, what else have I got? So challenge yourself. Yeah. Set yourself some targets in this time. It, it will help you sort of, um, not the days won't kind of merge into one another and it will give you a focus. So, you know, get creative, get doing things. If it's fitness, you know, set yourself a target, um, if, it, if you're a musician, you know, um, set yourself something to learn. If you want to paint, you know, give yourself a goal. Um, okay, so number seven is help others. Um, so there's there's a lot of Facebook groups where you can actually join and help people in your community who may be vulnerable. So, you know, you go get shopping bits for them or check on them through the window. Um, and this actually, I think, helps put things into perspective. So instead of feeling like, oh, I'm locked in, actually, no, we're doing it to save lives. We're staying inside to protect the most vulnerable people in our society. And actually, when we can get our head around that, that's going to alleviate some stress around the situation. Um, then I have work smarter not harder so I appreciate that we have all been getting to grips with the online learning um, but some of my tips to avoid stress around that is to prioritize and schedule um, and have some structure and routine around your day so you know um, don't just let the day slip into one another you know I'm going to get up at this time and I'm going to do this first and make those um, routines and plans around your education and your day. Okay, number nine is positivity. Actually, having a positive mental attitude um, has actually proved um, to help people feel better and less stressed. So try and be a cup half full kind of a person instead of a cup half empty kind of a person. Um, so I would suggest that you write down three, three things that you're grateful for every day. And then when you maybe you're feeling a bit low to look back on those things that you're grateful for. Um, and try and see the positive in the situation instead of the negative. And I assure you, this will help alleviate stress. Um, and number 10 is eat 
healthy, get enough sleep, it's very important. Lack of sleep, um, the way it affects anxiety, the way it affects stress, um, can really, really cause mental health issues. So please get enough sleep and eating healthy is crucial. Um, it's a really difficult time for everybody, but please um, do try and be kind to yourself and be kind to others and take care of your mental health. Um, and if you need any further support, um, you can email the mental health and wellbeing team um, if you're not feeling great. Um, if you wanna let me know how you what you do to manage stress, I would love to know. All right, thank you, bye.